So what do I believe as a successful network marketer sponsored over 750 people, looking at the changes that happened in my mindset, you know, what should advice can I give to you and say, okay, this is where I used to be and this is what allowed me to get results. This is what took me from not being able to get a sign up to getting 30 to 45 a month, right? Those are the results that I was getting and I've helped many other network marketers do well too. That's what this training is about. I've got um, that three or four different points here on my screen that I'm gonna go through with you. Let's just dive in. Um, and before I do that, if at any point in time you like this training, you want more from me beyond you know just the video content here on YouTube, uh, you can go to the link that you'll see in the corner or beneath here on YouTube. It's also in the description area on the podcast. Um, that is where you can join my free Facebook group specifically for network marketers, bunch of training resources, bonus material, stuff that's not out here on YouTube. You can get access to all that for free by joining that group. And like I said, it's totally free. It's about 1,500 of the network marketers are in there already. Okay. Number one thing that I changed and I believe you should too to get a great mindset to get success as a network marketer is accept that rejection is rarely about you. Like if, if you're in a restaurant and you've eaten enough of the main course and you're stuffed, you're full, when the waiter or waitress comes to you and says, do you like dessert? If you said, no, I'm fine, thank you. Would you expect the waiter or waitress to start crying? Oh my goodness. Food is a scam, desserts are a scam. I knew this fudge cake was, was, was a pyramid, it's shaped like a triangle, it's sliced like a triangle, this is a scheme. No, is it about them or is it about you? No, you're full. You just don't, just don't want dessert. And this is, most of the time, this is what happens when someone rejects you or tries to like um, be negative towards you in network marketing. It's about them. They don't like the fact that you're trying to better yourself and that shines a light on their laziness. They don't like the fact that they are safe and happy with you being just like them when you break away and elevate your position in life. They're worried that if you do that, you'll leave them behind. They don't like the fact that, you know, maybe they're just a negative person. They watch the news all the time. They're around negativity. So an opportunity to a pessimist just looks like danger. Be careful, be careful, be careful. That's a number, you know, one news term by a lot of negative people. So it's not about you, it's about them. So understand that in your mind that the majority of the responses you're gonna get, of course, you can improve your tactics and your approach, but the vast majority is going to be about what is going off in their life, their experiences, and their self-doubt or self-belief. Next thing, seek results, not approval. Don't waste your time because you've got in your mindset that you've got to be popular. You know what I mean? Like you've, you've got to make sure that oh, this person agrees with me. When you're on social media, you get dragged into arguments and conversations with people because they disagree with you. No, 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 no. It is this way. Trying to seek their approval. Same with people in your real life. Like you may have people who you respect in many areas of their life. Maybe a great parent, maybe a um, successful in another type of business, maybe great at sport, whatever. But if they're not super successful in network marketing, why are you bending your time and your will and your attention and your mind to try and seek approval about something that they don't know anything about? Would you try and seek the approval in your marriage, if you're married or your relationship, from someone who's had nothing but a string of failed relationships? No, because they're not qualified to give you that advice. And if you take their advice, you often have to take their life and their results too. So what, who are you really trying to get approval from and what are you trying to get it for? Start to get that out of your mind and say, you know what? I'm gonna look for the results that are important to me in my life and the people I care about. The right people will approve. If you disapprove, hey, it's a free country, it's a free world, people have fought and died for that, right? I'm just gonna carry on doing what I'm doing. As long as you're not doing something illegal or you're harming people, what is it to do with anybody else anyway? So start to look for results, not approval. Next thing, build through bravery, okay, and decisiveness. You're not gonna get anyway dillying, dallying, you know, buffooning around. Well, I'm, I'm not sure, right? The fence is, is for cowards. You need to jump off on one side or the other. You know what? If you jump off on the wrong side, you can climb back on the fence and go the other way. While you're sat on the fence, you have no idea which is the right side. So stop being a procrastinator. These things aren't inbuilt in you. They are derived from your actions. So if you want to be a braver person, if you want to be more decisive, if you want to be more confident, if you want those things as part of your mindset, well, start to be that way. Well, Richard, I'm not that confident. It isn't a gift. It's earned, it's deserved. 
No one's born brave. No one's born super confident. These things are put in or out of us by the environment we're around and the way in which we behave. So start to ask yourself the question, if I was much more decisive and confident, how would I answer this question I just got asked? How would I deal with this conversation? How would I respond to this person? How would I behave today? Would I buy that program? Would I invest in that coaching? Would I go to that event? Would I say this? Would I say that? Start to ask these more intelligent and empowering questions and the answers that you start to you know, give to yourself will start to change your actions. Then you'll actually be what it is you're trying to be because of that repetition. You are what you consistently do. So make sure you draw your attention with the right questions, okay? The last thing I would do is master lead generation to avoid unnecessary pressure and desperation. You know, a lot of times the unnerviness that we feel, is that a real word? You know what I'm saying, right? When we feel unnerved or doubtful or I'm not so sure, a lot of that comes because we don't have enough flow of leads in our business. Like if you have three people right now and you're waiting for them to get back to you, whether they join you or not, that's like each one of those is 33% of the entirety of all the hope that you've got in your business of making a sale. That's bound to affect you, isn't it? That's bound to make you be a little bit more pushy or desperate or, oh my goodness, I hope that they do it. I'll just give them another call. I'll just give them some more information. And then they actually don't want to join somebody like that. They want someone with a strong, confident, take it or leave it mindset. So if you've got 33 people every day coming to you asking about your business, I wouldn't say, you. Oh, well, who cares? Because you should care about you know, the quality of the people you're bringing in. But you can also take it or leave it. And when I started to focus on lead generation and generate a lot more leads than my clients when I taught them this too, they're able when someone's on an R and they're saying, you know what, I'll leave this with you. Look, I've got a whole bunch of people who are waiting for me to get back to them. This business is going places. I'm going places. If you want to come with us, you're absolutely welcome to. But I don't have the time to waste on someone who can't even make a simple decision. So there's no offense here whatsoever. This will always be a good deal. Right now, it's a great deal. It's entirely up to you if you want to do this or not. I'm, I'm, you know, Let me know if you've got any questions. I'm jumping off the call. A lot of times you'll get people going, well, hang on a minute. Whoa, whoa, I didn't say no. Um, you know, okay, let me make a decision. They will let you, you lead the dance. A lot of times people um and ah because they want to see you dance. If you lead the dance and they have no, you know, they either have to leave the dance altogether or they have to follow your lead. So make sure you're leading the dance by, um, you know, master lead generation. Now the uh, demand for you outstrips the supply. That's a very economically powerful situation to be in. You can manufacture that. If you're not sure how to generate leads, you should jump in the Facebook group. I teach a lot of that. In fact, look out for the mini lead generation masterclass that's in there. That will help you generate more leads. Um, okay, so I'm done. I like to get in and out, give you some really good information, crack on with your day, take it, use it, be thinking about this, put it into your business. Hopefully, I, ho I want to hear from you about how your mindset's improved. Is there one of these that's more useful than the other? As I always say, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. If you're a subscriber, I will see you on the next one. And if you're in the group, I'll definitely see you in there. I update it in there personally. Have a fantastic day and bye for now.